I am thrilled that Dr. Spurl, who you've seen on my podcast before, is actually right here beside me. And we are in Minnesota. No, no, you're from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota. We're actually, <laughs> where are we? Michigan. Michigan. Starts with an M for the love of God. <laughs> and we've had an incredible last 48 hours in Michigan. And Dr. Sproul was on stage. He was one of our speakers. And I want to make sure you know where to find him. It's officialsnaps.com. And you're going to push that discovery call button so you too can have healing and health at their Snaps Center for Healing and Health. Because it is the best thing that you're going to want to do to make your life even better. And so Dr. Spurl was a speaker here and he has been sharing with us all of the wonderful things that he wants to share with you regarding this event here in Michigan. Yeah, it's been uh, awesome. So uh, the Reawaken Tour is one of my favorite places to be because it's really people talking about um, uh, politics in our government, which I actually don't like. But, but they're talking about it and how to correct that. Talking about a lot of doctors here, talking about health and taking care of yourself and talking about the things that aren't being spoken out publicly. And then there's pastors here from all types of churches uh, that are coming here and talking about faith. So it's really, and about freedom too in the country. So I absolutely love, love the, the people that are here. Uh, I, I check out a lot of the vendors and things like that. and. Um, it's a lot of stuff that just is a, a good fit for, for uh, in my world, which is uh, I, I'm, I am praying for a new healthcare system. And when I come here, I get hope uh, that it's happening because it's happening on multiple different levels, where, whether it be the governmental stuff or whether it be our, our health and uh, wellness. So I, I don't know. It's just it's energizing to be here. I love the energy and uh, just uh, super enjoy the, the people, too, because... You don't feel so alone in the fight, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And you know, when there's so much synergy, no pun intended, with the synapse, yes. <laughs> with all of us coming together as one family, one one to- tone, and one band, um, singing and praising God, yeah. and obviously wanting to make a difference in the world and in our lives. And so, uh, Dr. Spurl was on stage and was able to... Uh, share a little bit of what is going on from the healthcare system and how he is on a mission to change it. Yes. And so, share with them what um, you had shared with people here and what you wanted to share in regards to all of the different things that we can do. Well, uh, my message on stage was really uh, to point out how we have a lot of good people in healthcare that are stuck in a, in a corrupt and compromised system. So, so my message was to give them grace and we need to just come together and unify with the recognition that we have a broken system and it needs to change and then also to start to build off of that and what do we do? And so the, the, the short version of the message was I, I really wanted people to know that they have been equipped, number one, to handle what's coming next. We jokingly talk about um, the bird flu because that, that that's starting to come up and, and Clay Clark, who we're, we are both familiar with, talks about how that's the next thing that they're going to be talking about, like COVID. Ma- amazingly enough, this stuff happens right before the elections. But of course. yeah, but the bird flu. They asked me. They asked me, "What would you do to help prevent the bird flu?" And my first answer was, "Turn off the TV, and you'll be exactly. fine." Exactly. And so, but my second answer is to to know that you've been equipped to defend yourself against all disease. God has equipped you. And so I, I basically um, showed them a video that's on my website. If you go to officialsynapse.com to the media section, your immune system under the microscope shows you how your immune system actually defends against infections, against cancers, different things like that. So we've been equipped. However, certain things will interfere with that. If our hormones are low, if our inflammation is high, then all of a sudden our immune system doesn't uh, react the way it should. It's not optimal. So my message was to people to really focus in on who they are, unify, and 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 get the best version of themselves by becoming healthy. And uh, there's some, some things we found through COVID and that whole era that certain people didn't do well with it and certain people did. Just ask the question, why? And one of the big things we found is that people who had low hormones or pre-existing inflammation couldn't handle it. So low hormones like progesterone, estrogen, even vitamin D, uh, some of these people didn't do well with it. And so uh, those are things we focus on now to actually improve our health and our overall well-being. And it doesn't take much to start to 
learn how to tweak it. It could take a while to become healthy again, but every day if you just keep raising your level of health, all of a sudden you become healthy. And then if you're like-minded and you want a new healthcare system, you start fighting for it. Uh, political system, judicial system, schooling system, whatever it is, just if we're healthier, if we have the energy and the capacity to take care of it, then it, then change happens. And that's we're in that season. God is working on so many people right now. It's 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 brilliant what's yeah. happening. And it's awesome to be a part of it and witness it and see it and feel it. Even. Yes, you can yeah. feel it and it, it just it, it, the energy and the buzz of um, what's going on here, which has been just just so encouraging and positive. Yeah. It's just uh, like being behind a fire hose and having all this information and just trying to digest it all. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. So what do you, uh, you were on stage. Yes. And you were able to share a little bit of uh, regards to the healthcare system and how we have to change it. Yes. And, and you loved listening to Cash Patel. Yes. And that was because? That's because uh, both General Flynn and Cash Patel um, were there and they, they said it, Cash said it very, very well. Because there was a woman who came on stage who said that uh, she uh, basically um, started making new laws in her state for something that had happened to her. And Cash said this is exactly what needs to happen. But her question was, uh, what is the government going to do when Trump gets back in as president to help with this problem? Uh, what are they going to do to fix it? And Cash's answer was, it don't rely on government to fix this. It, it's up to we the people. What you did, what she did in her state needs to be duplicated. So he said, go out, find people in each state to do exactly what you did, then we will reinforce that. That's the role of government. So uh, the government's role is to do and be there for the people. So the main point is, we've got to get people in charge of, of these really important positions when it comes to government, when it comes to different agencies who are for the people, not for profits, but for the people. And that's the message that I really, really like because he empowered her to go out and make the change and, and be a part of that. But again, if you're feeling lethargic, if you're feeling ill-equipped, if you're feeling sick, you, you say, I'm just going to leave that for someone else. And that's not the answer. He said, you've got to get out. And he's right. It's up to us, we the people, to stand up, otherwise we're in trouble when it comes to our health and the government stuff. So I, I love how Cash said it, and it's the same thing for our health. It's not up to your doctor to fix you, to fix the problem. It's up to you to take 100% ownership, and, and we, people like ourselves, will walk alongside you to help direct you, to help do a lot of that. It's the same as the government. It's the same concept. God is working by, by lifting people up right now in all these different areas uh, to, to actually uh, empower themselves. And then the praise last God. thing, yeah, praise God is right. And, and General Flynn was there and he had a big smile on his face because yeah. it's the same, same message that he's been saying about just local action, local action. And he, was, he had his eyes woken up through this whole process too because they, they made a, a statement about how, um, actually it was Eric Trump who made this statement, but Eric said, we didn't know Fauci. We didn't know how bad Fauci was until after the fact. Now we know. Now we have data. And uh, and General Flynn said uh, that uh, Fauci needs to be held accountable and there's a lot a lot to that. And what I, my comment was, we've been getting fauci for like decades. We've been getting these lies, these little lies where they're choosing profits over people much, much more than, than people recognize. So it's been happening for decades. So we're we're, we're at such a tipping point right now. It's so phenomenal it because we can make change and there's going to be a complete change with how the world is run, with how people are, are running their own lives. And it's really about empowering yourself to become CEO of your own body and your own life and using doctors and, con and, and us as consultants and, and then getting people in power with the FDA uh, to actually, and that because that was my statement, first thing I would do is fire everyone at the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, and start over and clean up our food, uh, clean up our uh, drug industry, and start to actually uh, do things that has got people uh, as the top priority. And that's, that's, but we need people in charge to be able to do that. So I'm looking forward to those days. Yeah, and you know, the thing is, is I always say you have to participate in your own rescue. Yes. You can't be sitting on the sidelines. And you have to get in the game to be able to swing the bat, to win the game. That's right. And so, 
not being so dependent on waiting for the government or waiting for the doctors to heal you. You have to play on the field. Yes. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. You have to participate. Yeah, and I have, I have a little. This is a theory, but I have a theory when. When people get healthier, and if people are saying, well, what can I do? I live in a small community, and, and General Flynn would say, go volunteer at the voting booth, whatever it is. But I've got a slightly different message. It's the same concept, different message. I want you to get a little healthier than you were yesterday. Because as you get healthier, then you start to, and this is my theory, you start to hear from God better. Yes, you do. People who are inflamed, inflamed is more like, like hell than heaven. I, I think we can all agree with that. Well, I, I think we think there's flames in hell. That's what yes, there's flames in hell. And the majority of disease right now on this planet is due to inflammation. The more inflamed you are, the less coherent you are to hear God's voice. I've seen that personally. I've seen that with a lot of my patients where they, they can't lean into God or hear his voice as frequently. When you are not doing well with your body, there's a, there's a tendency, there, there's, a, there's a component of just not even wanting to ask God the question so that we can then listen. Well, it's kind of like having sledge in your, in your arteries and veins, and so it's, it's, it's not fun, we're not functioning at yeah. the level that we were created to function at, so we have to clean that out so then we can have a sharper ear, a sharper eye, you know, because we can then see, hear, and even just digest so much better. Yes. When we get rid of the sledge that's in our body, and, the, uh, and I'm a, I have been working with Dr. Squirrel now for probably three months, and I am sleeping better and more energy just because of everything that I've been doing to get rid of the inflammation that is in my body, and I know that all of us have that because you don't get to my age without having inflammation. <laughs> well, that's exactly right, because even if you've done everything right for the most part, we live in a fallen, inflamed world. So there's so many things that trigger this inflammation, so many imbalances, so many things we're exposed to, whether it be inflammatory to our mind or body, it's all around us. We're surrounded by it right now. That's why uh, scripture says to be in this world, but not of it. And so it's important to be able to separate yourself, still be here, but separate yourself from the world. And this is one way, by cleaning up being being a healthiest version of yourself. It's our temple that we've been given, and when you clean that up, and it's a temple for the Holy Spirit to do it, do works, and so so it's important, again, if you're full of sludge, you can't be in action. That's right. So one of the ways to be in action is to clean that temple and be the best version of yourself. Well, and it's just like I was sitting here thinking about, you know, having lead in your bum, you know, lead in your butt. You can't get up, you can't move, yeah. you can't be a part of it, and so, that's part of the inflammation is getting that sledge and that inflammation out of our body so we can feel better. This is like when you start sleeping better, I'm telling you, most yes. people that know me well know that I'm usually running at mock speeds 90% of the time. And I'm now actually sleeping seven hours a night, which was unheard of yeah. three months ago. Well, and sleep, so, min yeah, it's, it's my biggest, biggest thing because I don't feel like people get restorative sleep. Now, a lot, I want people to hear this because you may sleep through the night, you, you may get 12 or 14 hours of sleep, but if it's not restorative sleep, it's not real good sleep. So there's deep sleep that actually restores us, resets our immune system, resets our hormones. And this is very, very important when it comes to just being, being healthy. So there are a lot of different things you can do to actually help with what we call your sleep hygiene, to get you into that deep, deep sleep. And I'm, I'm going to point out one thing because the sleep disorder that I see the most that no one ever looks at or talks about, it's called upper airway resistance syndrome. Oh, yeah. And so I want to talk a little bit about that because, um, uh, you know, if you're, if you're basically flexing a muscle, your bicep, in order for that bicep to contract, you have to have the tricep in the back relax. So it's called reciprocal inhibition. Contract, the opposite relaxes. When we have stress, mental, mental, chemical, or physical stress, what muscles contract on our body? Back here, tension in the neck and shoulders. It's all in the back. So what happens is it relaxes the muscles on the front. Now over time, when it goes on chronically, they actually tighten and are relaxed. Double whammy. 
So the airway becomes weak, it starts to collapse, so we don't get oxygen at nighttime. So we lay in our back to sleep, the airway collapses, we don't get oxygen, it pulls you out of deep sleep. So the goal is to have these muscles on the backside of our neck be really as relaxed as possible. And there's different ways to do that. Improved digestion does that. Reduced mental stress, surrendering to God does that. Um, muscle massage does that. Physical exercise does that. Deep sleep does that. And so by improving that airway, we're actually getting oxygen to the brain, improved deep sleep. But what do we have to do to do that? Reduce all the things that cause the back neck muscles to, to that get tense. Yeah. Takes time, it, and, and there's multiple things that do that with everyone. Well, we, I feel like I want to go take a nap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that was really good. I want to relax. I want to get rid of the tension. That's very common after a lot of my talks. People <laughs> want to go take a nap. <laughs> he's, because he's talking about sleep. We need more sleep. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No, it's such an incredible information that is so simple that we complicate things. We do. And we have to get out of the way of ourselves. And, you know, do the simplification of just get some good sleep and relax a little bit, get rid of the tension in our life, which is yes. obviously the exercise. I'm always saying the coping skills are pray first, exercise second. Yep. So you have endorphins, you got God, and hopefully you're going to be able to sleep better, obviously. And Absolutely. And sleep. So yes. What else would you like to share about this? Well, uh, for me, uh, other than sleep, just uh, anything that reduces inflammation is gonna be a home run. So if I had to boil it down, uh, when we're talking about the flesh and, and just cleaning things up, uh, restorative sleep and an inflammation reduction, that includes certain infections. You see people even with dental stuff. Your body gives you clues. So any level of inflammation can then lead to a problem somewhere. So identifying where the inflammation comes from your diet, comes from your own, your own thought process, uh, comes from um, something you're being exposed to, identifying these things and then working on it. If you can just improve your sleep, reduce inflammation, uh, and give it time, you will improve. Not everything is gonna be addressed in, in one day, one hour, one week, so it's a process. Just do a little better than the day before you. If you have a bad day, then get some sleep, surrender it, get back to it tomorrow. So you brought up something about the dental stuff. How does that relate? Because I know a lot of people grind I yeah. would be one of them. I yeah. have a yeah. sleep with. Yeah, so dental can be a lot of things. So some people have amalgams. Um, there's a, a story I share of uh, one of our patients, is a, my mentor's patient actually, who was a personal trainer and uh, very, very fit. And she went and got amalgams put in, gained 30 to 40 pounds within 30 days that month. One month, 30 to 40 pounds, nothing else changed. Identified that it was from the dental work and she just had a severe reaction to the mercury that was in the amalgams and, uh, and ended up getting them pulled and she lost 30 pounds, the, the, the weight, uh, one month later. Never changed anything in her diet. So she, that's an extreme e example of minor changes that can happen. So someone who has amalgams over 30 years, that low level of mercury, that low level uh, of influence can affect your thyroid and your metabolism. So very, very important. The big one though, root canals. Root canals, um, I work with a dentist and, and he was a traditional dentist, even, even gave his own family and kids root canals, and then came back and said, I don't believe at this point that any root canal is healthy. Wow. Meaning at some point it will become compromised and you'll get an, an underlying infection in the root canal. So at some point in your life, you're gonna to have to get that addressed, cleaned out, and root canal infections are one of the 39 triggers for Alzheimer's. So that, to give you an idea of what they do for the actual brain itself. So, so dental health is really important. We see the actual uh, infections cause it. Uh, gingivitis or inflammation of the gums is a sign that there's something going on internally, the gut or in the teeth itself that can cause a problem. When we grind at night, as you're saying, that can be a, a reflection of of some tension in around the jaws or some other, even bad dreams or some of the other stuff uh, going on in the body, but it can actually be uh, more of a sign of, uh, that's more of a reflex than actual problem in the dental area. It so can cause problems. There's, there's no stress there. No, no stress there. <laughs> that would be me. No. 
I'm getting better. I'm in the process. Yes, I'm out of fight or flight, into rest and yes. digest, and it does go away. Say that again. That's a good Get one. out of fight or flight and into rest and digest, and the grinding does go away. Praise God. I'm in the process. I'm sleeping better, and I'm not grinding as much, so I'm yes. excited about being healthier at home so I can serve the people and serve That's God. That's right. So, Amen. And then you can follow Dr. Spurl on go to officialsnaps.com click that discovery call button have his him and his his team of people are amazing to be able to walk you through what they can do to make you have a healthier happier life and i just thank him all the time that he's one of my faves and that we had the opportunity to be here together at this incredible event yeah. and i am just i'm so grateful and thankful for all that you do for me for your patience for just this country and and in and, and the process of changing our healthcare system so we're a healthier system and not a medicated system. Absolutely. It's been my pleasure. And yeah, just go to the website and check it out. We have a lot of educational material, a lot of media that where we try and teach people about their health. Our podcasts are, our, we call it Synapse Snips. So yeah, go there, check it out. And uh, we have a lot of programs uh, for people all over the country. We treat people from 50 different states and 12 different countries right now. And I think that's how we get out of this mess is by education and by people taking ownership of their health and becoming the CEO, CEO of their own body. So Praise God. I appreciate you, your audience, and uh, thank you for having me on. God bless you. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Katie Huff with Katie Huff Ministries, and this is Bella Jean. And we're coming to you today to talk to you about setting yourself free by having first a great night's sleep. How's that going to happen? By using my pillow. My pillow has incredible products. Bella Jean even has her own dog bed and loves it. She sleeps well at night, so so do we. Because we also have the topper, we have the pillows, we've used the sheets, we have the towels, and we even have the slippers. So we are a family that loves my pillow as much as my Bella Jean, and I'm hoping that your dog will love it as much as ours, and that you'll go to mypillow.com slash unmasked. Again, that's mypillow.com slash unmasked and you'll get incredible discounts for your family to be setting themselves free to having a great night's sleep and having an amazing holiday season with my pillow products thank you hello ladies and gentlemen this is katie huff with katie huff ministries and i'm coming to talk to you today about setting yourself free and what that means is it begins with taking control of your finances so I was unfortunately introduced to a number of different financial planners that really didn't put me before their profit. And I'm glad to say that Kirk Elliott, PhD, their philosophy is people over profits. They don't rush you. They have a holistic approach. They took my SEP, they invested it into gold and silver, which obviously is diversifying. It may be for you, it may not, but I will tell you this, kirkelliottphd.com slash unmasked, they will go beyond making you comfortable and knowing where your money's going and so I would just say take control of your finances go to Kirk Elliott PhD slash unmasked for a discount and great advice and peace of mind that you'll have <laughs>